And first on our list is the character reference parameter. The character reference parameter is used in prompts when you want to create the same character, but you want the character in a different scene or a different situation. Currently, the character reference parameter only works on images that have been generated on Midjourney. It doesn't work on images that have been created outside Midjourney or images of real people. So basically it won't work well on your own image if that's what you would like to try and do. To start using this parameter, first you need to generate generate a base image that you want to put in different scenes. For this example, I'll use the prompt, a beautiful woman with curly hair wearing pink sitting on a desk with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. I'll press enter and the image will start generating. Here we go. As you can see, the images have been generated and all I have to do is choose one option to work with. I'll choose this one here and now I'll try and place this character in different scenes. To do this, I'll need to add a new prompt, which is the new scene where I want to see my character in. And for this example, I'll do sitting on a motorbike. And then the next thing that I need to do, I need to add the parameters for the character reference, which is dash dash C R E F and then space. And now I need the link to the image, which is the base image. And one way to do this is to drag the image and bring it all the way down. And as you can see, now we have the link. It's very, very important to make sure that you have a space in between the F and where the link starts. I'll use the aspect ratio 16 by 9 and I'll click enter. And just like that, we have our character in different scenes. And you can repeat this process as many times as you want. As you can see, this is a cartoon style. This is the character in a yacht. And this one is the character in the train. This is the character in the pool. And this is the character sitting in a car and this one the character is drinking coffee another tip that i think you should be aware of is combining the style row parameter together with the character reference because i think it makes a difference especially when you're creating let's say like a cartoon style image or you're converting it to an anime style image a comic style image i guess it's worth testing and trying and seeing if using the style row combined is better or not and just in case you're interested on a more detailed video on the character reference parameter i have an entire video that you can check out it's up here or you can also find the link on the description section down below another parameter that we're going to check out is the character weight the character weight parameter works alongside the character reference parameter and this works in such a way that it's used to modify the character reference strength the character weight value ranges between 0 to 100 which means if you don't specify a specific value when you're generating the images using the character reference the media will automatically automatically use the default value which is 100 and what happens with the new images that you generate they're all going to maintain a specific aspect of the base image so in this case we had the lady she's got the curly hair and she's wearing a pink top and in all the images that were generated she was wearing a pink top she had the curly hair even though the top was different it was still similar and that's where the character weight reference comes in because that allows you to change the hair and the clothes if that's what you want let me just show you what I mean all right I'll copy the prompt that we used before and i'll just make a few changes i'll delete this section and i'll add wearing denim sitting on a bench and for the character weight i'll do dash dash cw 100 which is the default for the first image and i'll copy this same prompt and this time the only thing that i'm gonna change i'm gonna change the dash dash cw to zero and then we'll compare the two as you can see from these images we generated using dash dash cw which is the default and in the new generated images the pink top has been maintained as i mentioned before but on this second images where we use dash dash cw0 we were able to change the outfit completely into a denim outfit on this other images again we use dash dash cw0 and the prompt for this was a woman wearing red sitting on a horse and as you can see the image still maintains the face but the outfit and the whole scene is changed by repeating this process you'll be able to change as many aspects as you want for this character but still maintain that face i hope this makes sense on to the next 
The chaos parameter plays a big role on how diverse the grid images will be generated. The lower the chaos value, the more similar and expected the grid images will be. The higher the chaos value, the more different and unexpected the grid images generated will be. The chaos parameter value ranges between 0 to 100 with 0 being the default, which means if you don't specify a specific chaos value, then Mijan will automatically use chaos 0 to generate the images. This these images were generated from the prompt portrait photography of a beautiful blonde woman wearing a red top with dash dash c space zero which is a chaos value of zero and as you can see all the images on this grid look very very similar and this image here was generated from the same prompt but this time i used a chaos value of 25 and here you begin to see just a slight difference in the images on the grid and at a higher chaos value of 40 the images on the grid start looking even more different at 60 start seeing the effects of using a higher chaos value all the images are completely different from each other but yeah they still represent that beautiful blonde lady in a red top this here is at chaos 80 at chaos 100 these images look nothing like each other and it's not exactly what you'd expect from the prompt but again that's how the chaos value works all right moving on the no parameter or the dash dash no space object parameter normally tells me journey exactly what you don't want to see on your images me journey normally considers any word that you've used on your prompt as an element using words such as no and without are not gonna work these two sets of images were generated using the same text prompt a close-up shot of a bowl of salad on the first image we have a bowl of salad and everything that you'd expect to see in a bowl of salad the only difference between the first one and the second prompt is on the the second prompt we use the no parameter dash dash no tomatoes and as you can see again we have another beautiful salad but this time there's no tomatoes on our second example we have these three sets of images where we've used the same prompt again a garden with beautiful flowers on the first image as you can see there's a garden with all sorts of flowers different colors on the second image we specified we did not want pink flowers so we use the dash dash no pink flowers and as you can see the garden has no pink flowers on the third garden we specified we didn't want orange flowers so we use the dash dash no orange flowers and as you can see we have blue flowers we have pink flowers but we don't have orange flowers and that's how the no parameter works you generate images and specify what you don't want to see on your images and me journey will generate the image without what you ask for them not to have next on the list we have the stop parameter using the stop parameter allows you to hold the image in generation process before it's finished this enables you to generate images that are blurred and less detailed compared to normal images the stop parameter values ranges between 10 to 100 with 100 being the default which means if you don't specify a stop parameter then your image will just generate as normal to completion as you can see from these images here this one was done as top 10 this one at 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and the last one was than as normal to completion next we have the aspect ratio parameter you can use the aspect ratio parameter to set your preferred aspect ratio for any images that you generate on me journey what you can see on the screen are just some common aspect ratios used the default aspect ratio on me journey is one by one which means if you don't specify a specific aspect ratio on your prompt then your images will be generated as a square you can also use the zoomer feature to change aspect ratios of images that you already have on me journey and what happens is is that the me journey bot will fill out your missing content based on your prompt or the original image and to change this using the zoom out option this is what you have to do once you have the image that you want to modify you can change any of the zoom out options from these three and from here just click on it change the aspect ratio in this case we're changing it to 16 by 9 submit and me journey will start processing it and before you know it you got exactly what you was looking for and next we have the style parameter the style parameter is used to replace the default style or aesthetic of some me journey versions style raw parameter is accepted by me journey version 6 version 5.1 5.2 and the ninji version 6 using style raw produces images with less automatic beautifications applied 
applied, which can lead to a more accurate matching when it comes to prompting with a specific style. Next, we have the stylized parameter. The Mid Journey Bot has been trained to generate images that favor artistic color, composition, and form in the images that it generates. The stylized parameter is used to control the degree to which this artistic training is applied to the images generated. Using a lower stylization value, produce images that are close match to the prompt but are less artistic, while using a high stylization value will produce images that are very artistic but are less connected to the prompt. The default stylization value is 100 but it ranges between 0 to 1000. These two sets of grid images were generated using the same prompt. Child's drawing of a dog. The first set of images was generated using the zero stylization value and the second set of images was generated using a thousand stylization value and this one here was generated using the same prompt but it was generated using a stylization of 100. This one was a stylization of 200. This one is 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800 and 900. I hope this makes sense. Next we have the style reference parameter. Images can be used as style reference in your prompts to influence the style or aesthetic of images generated from your prompt. To use the style reference parameter in your prompts you need to add the dash dash s-r-e-f space then the link to the image that you want to copy the style from just after your text prompt. All right going back on me journey if you want to copy any image style using the style reference parameter then you'll need to have the base image first and for us this is the base image that I'll be using. Start with the text prompt that describes your next image in this case it's a cart next to a dog. Next you'll need to enter the style reference parameter which is the dash dash s-r-e-f space. Add the link for the image that you want to copy the style from. To do that all you have to do is drag this image down here and as you can see it will copy the link. Make sure that you have a space between the f and where the link starts and for this one I'll also add the aspect ratio 16 by 9 and I'll generate the image. From that prompt this is what we have. We have the cart next to a dog and a clear influence of the base image can be seen and this will be seen in all images that will be generated using this same process. We also have this one with the text prompt of a beautiful lady in a cozy living room. This one is of a luxury 4x4 car and for this one is a dog sleeping on a dog bed. You can follow the same process and keep going. The only thing that will stop you is your imagination. Me Journey also released the style way parameter which works alongside the style reference parameter and it also works in the same manner as the character reference way parameter works. The style way parameter which is the dash dash sw is used to set the strength of the style reference that will be applied in any of the images that you generate. The dash dash sw parameter accepts any value between 0 to 1000 with 100 being the default value. As you can see from these two images they were both generated using the same prompt. The only difference between these two images is one of the images was generated using the star way parameter which is this image here which I use the dash dash sw50. If you compare these two images you can see a lot of the similarities with the base image meaning like the cloudiness of the image but if you look at this image that I use the star reference which kind of reduce the strength of the style image that we use it doesn't have the cloudiness but it picked up on the colors. If you look at this other two images here of a living room they were both generated with the same prompt but again just like this, the other one one of them was generated using the star way parameter of 50. To me the difference between the two images is the stylization. You can clearly see the difference and I actually prefer the one that uses the star way parameter. Whether this works well or not is a matter of testing and trying but I do believe that it requires a whole video of its own. Moving on to the next parameter in a list. Next on the list we have the weird parameter. If you want to be creative and discover an unusual aesthetic from images that you generate on Mid Journey, you can try the weird parameter. According to Mid Journey, the weird parameter is experimental and what's weird might change over time. This particular parameter accepts values between 0 to 3000, with 0 being the default value. The one thing that makes the weird parameter interesting is that it adds quirky and odd stuff to images that you generate, which makes them unique and surprising. To use the weird parameter on your
your prompts just add dash dash weird then the value that you want for example 100 or dash dash w space then the value that you want again 100 after your text prompt this image here was generated from this prompt using the weird value of zero which is the default value and this one here was generated using the same prompt but with the weird value of 250 for this it was 500 for this one it was weird value of 2000 and for this one it was 3000 the higher the value the weird the image will be lastly we have the mid journey version parameters mid journey are constantly updating their mid journey versions to improve their performance you can transition from one version to another by simply adding the dash dash version or the dash dash v followed by the number of the version that you intend to change it to another way to do this is by using the setting command all you have to do is click on slash and a drop down menu will appear select setting click on enter and you should be able to see this in front of you click on this section another drop down menu will appear and you can choose any version from the drop down menu and once you have the version that you want click on it and that's it and to close this little thing here all you have to do is click on this button all right so that's that for this video thank you for watching my name is abigail until next time bye bye